Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a long time, so I appreciate you guys being patient, but got some big news in the Last of Us world here over the past 24 hours. We do have a little teaser trailer for season two. Uh, it's not very long. It came out, I think, last night before House of the Dragon. I always skip that stuff. Um, but I, I guess it came out before that with all the other stuff that's coming up soon uh, and what's coming in 2025. So I guess we got about 30 seconds of Last of Us Season 2. Let's take a look at it. I'll just run it through without stopping the first time. And then we'll go back through it again and I'll pause at each little section and maybe we'll try to speculate about what we're seeing. Let's go. Did you hurt her? Then what? What did you do? I saved her. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Wow. Um, that was pretty good. I saved her. Didn't go back far enough. Um, yeah, let's just play it again and let's, I don't know. Well, let's just talk about this first. This is obviously the, the Christmas dance. Uh, and I saw, I saw like the set for it. I think I can't remember. It was on social media, but the little barn scene here with the lights coming down the Christmas section, uh, actually in the last of us part two, if you didn't go and get that, um, that little addition there for remastered where you can go through and play the lost levels. There's a really good part here about the Christmas dance uh, at Jackson that we see at the very beginning of the game. Um, I wish we got more Jackson. Jackson was awesome. We did not spend enough time there, sadly. Um, they did a great job making that into a community. It'd be cool to see what they make with uh, Jackson here um, on the show. But yeah, Ellie even got the hair tied back in the, in the knot. They even got that down from the game. But yeah. Did you hurt her? <gasps> did you hurt her? Clearly talking to Joel. Oh, we got the Ellie tattoo and the scar it's covering. I wonder if I wonder if anyone in real life ever got that tattoo. I don't know. Be pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Then what? What did you do? Okay, that's Catherine O'Hara, and I knew she was cast in this season, but apparently it's a big mystery role. No one knows what she's playing. Even if I just recently just went and looked up her role and it says uh, it doesn't say a name. So I don't I don't know. I don't know if she's going to be here. She's clearly talking to Joel. She almost. Well, here, we'll go through the rest of it. OK, so I'm trying to figure out what this part is. Um, I mean, naturally, my first thought is it's it's Ellie at the hospital at the end of season one. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's a flashback. Maybe it's a nightmare she's having. But yeah, that doesn't happen again. So I, I don't know what this one is. I, again, it's obviously an edited trailer. So you have to keep that in mind. They can make this look like whatever they want it to look like. I highly doubt it. But could this be like some elaborated part of day one whenever they're just outside the school and the bomb goes off and Dina and Ellie get separated for a moment? Could this be like some like little side quest version of that? Some little, you know, fluff that they gave it for the TV show? Maybe I, I again, I, I doubt it. This is probably just going to be some kind of a flashback to St. Mary's Hospital. OK, again, I don't know why I instantly first thought like I thought that it looks like the infected storming the, you know, log cabin there in the middle of the woods, the chalet, whatever the fancy word is for that house. Um, that's that's what that looked like for a second. But those are clearly towers up there. Again, that is just like a big log cabin. It doesn't have those kind of towers. So those people are charging Jackson or they're infected. Let's go back and try to take a look at that a little bit closer. I don't know why like regular people would be storming the, the capital there like that. <laughs> that has to be infected. It's like it's stupid to even ask that question. Like it's clearly not the WLF. Oh, Seraphites, right? Clearly, Seraphite's rhetorical question. Rhetorical. There we go. Pretty crazy that we're getting to Seraphites in this season, I think. Um, season one, nine episodes. Season two, seven episodes. And we're getting all the way to the Seraphites. That's, again, you never know what kind of, what, what they could be doing with this edit. Uh, flashbacks, maybe, or some, you know, throwaway scene to where it is Seraphite's running through the woods. Like, are we going to get deep into that? you know that pov again this well, i mean this here seems like it's the seraphite part that you know uh happens during the the middle maybe the two-thirds point of her day one in seattle 
Um, not that she has a day one anywhere else, uh, but it's, you know, whenever she slides down the hill and she gets attacked and then she meets Yara and Lev. Uh, could this be that part? I would have reckoned so. That seems to be the most similar to what we see in the game with Seraphites running through the woods in the dark at night. Uh, so that would be my guess for, for what this is. But again, seven episodes and we're already getting to the Seraphites in season two. I think that that's, that seems pretty aggressive to me. Um, but Hey, I'm not a TV show creator or a writer or a showrunner or a director, but yeah, seven episodes. I mean, we're starting in Jackson right off the bat. The Joel thing has to be, I initially would have thought episode two, but if we're moving at this pace here where we're already at the Seraphites within a seven episode season, he, he might be gone at the end of, of, uh, episode one. He, he might, it's, it's possible. Um, it's fast season, but again, we, we see what people have been casted for the roles, and here you have Seraphites right here, so it, this season's going to move pretty quickly. It's not going to be like House of the Dragon season two. Okay. Well, Dina, Ellie shooting a gun. <laughs> I guess I didn't have to stop there. It is Dina, and it is Ellie shooting a gun. And, I, you know, reckon Abby, Owen patrolling the mountain there before everybody wakes up just so that Owen can show Abby how fortified Jackson is. And that's where the two split. Jeffrey Wright. Yes. Jeffrey Wright. Um, check out the card in the top right. Did a small video on this whenever they announced his casting. Jeffrey Wright provided the motion capture and the voice for The Last of Us Part 1. So his character is getting a complete replica playing him in the show here because like i said it's it's the same guy that, that does everything for the character in the video game very good because jeffrey wright is a tremendous actor so an hbo alum uh westworld boardwalk empire some of my favorites i've only seen season one of westworld though so let me backtrack there but boardwalk empire is a great uh jeffrey wright in this here obviously we're playing isaac again we're getting pretty again for seven episodes we're we're meeting isaac you, again you don't do that until abby's day one when they make the switch over from uh, after Ellie's day three to Abby's day one, you don't again, you don't meet him till then. So uh, this their stories are clearly going to run parallel. We're not going to go all the way through Ellie's three days in Seattle and then switch it over to Abby's three days in Seattle. And we get just to the end of her day one before C episode seven hits. They're going to show a parallel story. Abby under the fence. Iconic scene, the horde uh, in Jackson, not long after we see that little landscape there on top of the mountains shortly after she uh, separates from Owen. Um, this is a absolute heart pounder. Um, this is a pants shitting moment without, without question. I remember the first time I actually played this first time I played the game. I, uh, you're just, you know, you take back control. You're switching back between Ellie and Abby. You go to Abby and you start walking. You start seeing all these bodies move through the trees. And it's quite clear that there are a shit ton of runners there. And I thought at first that she had to kill them all, right? I didn't know that this was going to be some big run sequence. So the first time I played it, and I found out very quickly that these uh, these runners weren't going away, um, I realized that, you know, I was screwed. And clearly there was another path to take. Uh, so after I died in miserable fashion, I realized that I needed to run down and, you know, jump over the, the cliff there onto the ice, up the hill, through that yard on top of the cars, and then the fence falls on top of you. Um, again, I can play the game. I don't even know how many times now still go back through this part and it is nerve wracking. <laughs> it makes your hands clam up a little bit. Uh, so glad to see that they're going to represent that iconic scene from the video game, uh, and put it into the TV show. People riding on horses, Ellie, Ellie scared. Um, certainly looks like her day one, the subway, right? Uh, you know, again, not long after getting into Seattle Day One. That is a crazy pause or <laughs> that I had there on Ellie's face. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. The subway is awesome, right? Ellie, Ellie's Day One in Seattle for me is my favorite section of the of the game. Uh, I know her Day Two is nipping at its heels. It's really good as well. And I would not even debate somebody that <laughs> would want to say that her Day Two is better. That's complete just personal preference. I think Day Three lacks a little bit. Um, but day one is a complete roller coaster. She enters Seattle with Dina and Ellie's character and us really more as the player getting to learn, know about Dina in that moment. You're getting to 
you're getting, you know, familiar with her because we don't know anything about Dina, even though Ellie's had a relationship with her for X amount of years before between the gap between one and two. Um, we don't know anything about Dina. So you get to get that nice, like slow little ride into Seattle and you get to hear the two talk about stories, you know, where they came from in their past, um, et cetera, et cetera. So you move on from there. The vibe starts to pick up. You think the WLF are lurking around every single corner and they really aren't for a while. Like they really just rope you in because again, every building you go into every action sequence, you think that the WLF are going to come out and then they don't. And then you go all the way through downtown Seattle and explore it. And you go through the Saravina and you definitely think they're in a Saravina, not there. And then just when you think you're good, you know, shit goes, shit goes south. And then it's just a roller coaster ride all the way from the school onto the TV station and then into the subway for a roller coaster ride finish up to the movie theater. Um, looks like they were in a subway here, this part, which will be terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Yeah. Clicker. Um, sure. This could be there. I saved her. Oof. And that looks like who Joe was talking to. Um, the Catherine O'Hara character looks like she's playing some kind of Jackson therapist. Maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's her role. That'll be her IMDB credit. Jackson therapist. Um, I would imagine it'll be a little bit more than that. She's kind of a noteworthy actress, but you've seen some of those, you know, pop up in the first couple of seasons, really noteworthy people come in just to play a small little part or maybe just a part just in one episode. Um, the vibe that I got with the Joel conversation there, I saved her, you know, that very reminiscent of the opening scene to the last of us part two between Joel and Tommy in that little cabin just outside Jackson. Um, where Joel tells Tommy seemingly not long after they get back from Salt Lake, what happened? Um, and that's just, that's kind of what that part seemed like. So maybe he doesn't have that conversation with Tommy in the, uh, in season two here. Maybe it is with this new created character. Um, that's very possible, but cool little teaser. They come along pretty quickly. I feel like they've, again, I know it'll end up by the time it comes out being two years since season one came out. And it seems like that's what a TV show goes for now. It takes two years to make the next season, especially when it's got special effects. The season's going to move really quick. Like I've said multiple times now, you already knew that whenever it, it was set up for a seven episode season, which I don't love. I mean, we're just literally coming off the heels of House of the Dragon doing an eight episode season when they did 10 the first. And it was the worst season finale I've ever seen in a show within recent year. Um, and it really felt like they could have used an episode nine and 10. So hopefully the last of us here, we don't get to at the end of episode seven. It's like, man, we could have really used those two extra episodes that they had in the first season, but hey, it looks really good. Again, it's going to move quick just based on where they're going to go. I do think obviously Ellie and Abby's stories are going to run parallel to each other. We're not going to get, you know, a little glimpse of Abby and then not see her again for 15 or 16 hours. And then we switch over to her for 15 or 16 hours. Um, that's, you know, they're going to have to run parallel with each other. If we're getting Sarah fights, if we're getting Isaac, uh, but hey, it looks great. We got to see a little glimpse of Dina. Um, again, it's what else? It's a teaser. You know, we, we get something that's maybe a minute or a minute and a half next time. Um, hey, we're just about a month and a half. Oh, actually about two months away from The Last of Us Day. So who knows? I think typically, I don't know if they ever give TV news at <laughs> The Last of Us Day. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Typically, it's just related to the, the game and art and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll obviously get another trailer, but hey, this look good, though. I just wanted to come on and make a video. Hope everybody's doing good. I know it's been a while since I made anything. Um, again, appreciate your patience. Getting back soon. Um, but hey, let me know what you guys think in the comments. What you think of the trailer? What you think of all those quick little scenes that we got a small little glimpse of there? Um, let me know what you're looking forward to most in, in season two. What new characters do you guys like? Uh, drop me a like if you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, please subscribe and I will catch you guys soon. Thanks.